Hi, so it's John Birch back with another introduction and performance to a prelude from my 24 Preludes for Solo Piano. Today is number 10, it's in C-sharp minor. When I think about this prelude, I, I always think that it sounds somewhat orchestral in the way that I take just a four-part texture but use the entire range of the piano with a lot of octave doublings. If we look at those uh, four lines, you could really just take them apart as soprano, alto, tenor, bass. And so on the downbeat, we get a bass note that gives the harmony for the bar and a pickup to the melody note in the soprano. So there we start off in C-sharp minor. Each bar has a tenor part that moves in octaves. The first bar is this. Sometimes these move in a scalic fashion, uh, both up and down. And the alto part is what gives this piece its energy. It's a broken triad in an alternating note pattern. And when it all comes together, you get a texture which has a very strong downbeat, which gives you the longer melodic line, and then beats two, three, and four that crescendo into that chord. What makes this piece, I think, a little bit distinctive is that quite often what's happening in the middle doesn't quite harmonically fit the implied harmony on the downbeats, even in the first bar. C-sharp minor, but there's all these A's cutting in there. I think this is most obvious when we get to the climax of the piece, which has a G-sharp minor chord with a high B, but the middle voices, which are up quite high now, are moving through an F-sharp minor chord. So you've got G-sharp minor and F-sharp minor. That resolves to a C-sharp minor chord, but now it's G-sharp in the top. Now, if you think about it, G-sharp minor, F-sharp minor, if I play that together, it's a bit of a cluster, although you could analyze it as a G-sharp minor, minor ninth, um, or minor, or minor seventh, uh, minor ninth, and then an eleventh. But I don't play it as a chord because I spread it out over the piano. You don't quite hear that cluster effect. Uh, the C sharp minor, G sharp minor, of course, share the G sharp. So that's just a C sharp minor uh, with a ninth on top of it, a major ninth. And uh, I think because this is really dissonance, and this sounds a little tamer, you do get a feeling of resolution when that chord comes. That's a, probably way more harmonic knowledge than you want for this piece, but I think it does give you an idea of where the harmonic color is coming from. So here we have Prelude in C-sharp minor number 10. <laughs> 